on this episode of the Ritual Misery podcast, Baldy, it's not just who I am, it's what I climbed. Snowpiercer and Snowpiercer. There's there's some irony there, I think. Uh, how about a home assistant ra- built out of a Raspberry Pi 4? Ooh, that sounds great. It sounds like we're going to talk about technology things tonight. Uh, Quarantech. It's a thing. Hello, and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 248 for Thursday, the 21st of May, 2020. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent, and something's really jacked up with the screen right now. Um, oh, oh, no, good. <laughs> um, but yes, I am Kent, and I'm here, and I'm happy. It's Thursday, which is always great because it's Ritual Misery, but also, I don't have to work tomorrow, and that's fantastic. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I am doing well. I will have to work tomorrow, but it's on stuff I like, which is totally amazing. That's great, man. All right, man. Uh, um, I tell you what, why don't you figure out how to tell people about your week while I try to figure out how to fix the aspect ratios on the screen right now? Oh, okay. Well, so I said I don't have to work tomorrow, which is fantastic. Um, I've been going to the office full time for the last two weeks, and dude, like I didn't like that already. Like going to work every day sucks. Um, but after like two, what two and a half months or whatever, of like a very very reduced schedule and teleworking and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, man, five days a week at work, eight hours a day, it's eight balls. hours plus usually. It's balls. It fucking. It sucks, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. Oh, jeez. It's, man, it's a thing. It's, it's, yeah. So tomorrow is a day off because we have a four-day weekend for Memorial Day coming up. Yeah. Uh, oh, so that's shit, nice. that's this weekend, nice. right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's uh, Monday. Monday's the holiday. And, um, the, you know, Air Force bases tend to, try to do four day weekends for things like that for like Monday holidays and things. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, as a, as a civilian employee, I actually have to take a day of leave tomorrow, but like all right. operations are shut down. So technically I could go to work, but and I would just nap. sit there staring at a screen and yeah, nap, <laughs> find the end of the internet, you know, whatever. <laughs> so it's not, it's not worth getting out of bed for. So and, I just and you can't be on your day. phone. So you can't like sit on TikTok all day. No, exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's completely pointless. And TikTok, no. Like, what? No. <laughs> oh, I love TikTok. Oh, that my is... gosh, I love TikTok. Yeah. It's, it's so fun. I don't know if we've talked about that much we on, have. on this show. But we, like, ha- we have. We you'll have. just randomly send me TikToks. So I'm yes. just like, between you and my son, Isaac, that that is my TikTok experience. So I should send you more. I have no TikTok experience other than that. I, <laughs> no, I, I'm good. I should certainly good. send you more. <laughs> So, so, so what have you been up to, man? Uh, well, this morning we went out, we got up at uh, 3.30 in the morning and we went out and climbed Mount oh. Baldy. Oh, what? Yeah, it's like a... Is that like a, is that a euphemism for your, for your head? No, no, I, that, that, that'd be entirely too uh, factual. No, this is, um, it's a, it, at the top of, uh, or at the head of, towards the head of Eagle River, which is a town named after a river. Called Eagle River? Called Eagle River. Like they actually what, what if what if the river what if the river was named something else? What if yeah. what if the river the was town, named after the town? The town? It's called Eagle River. <laughs> <laughs> and the town just happened to be named Eagle River. Yeah, yeah. Um, what should not, we name this river? I don't know. There's a town right there called Eagle River. How, let's <laughs> let's use that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, there's a town right there called Pittsburgh. We should call this the Pittsburgh River. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> No, it's I mean, it's a. That's kind of how that works. Yeah, it's it's a little over a three mile uh, hike. You know, uh, it's actually about a, almost two miles up and then a mile down because on the way down you can take certain shortcuts you can't take on the way up. Oh, okay. Uh, sixteen hundred or something like that feet of elevation, so it's it's fairly steep the entire time. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, my wife and I went out there with uh, the twins and David, and of course they went up there no problem. They're like. Da, 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 da. 
And my wife <laughs> and I, uh, I think we each had three heart attacks on the way up there. So that's how that went. Oh, only three. Wow. Yeah, that's okay. Well, yeah, three. The... Yeah, three each. Uh, so it's you know, three each. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Three each, not three between. Yeah, we okay, we, that we that didn't means, like yeah, each okay. have one or of our own and then share one. We're not that close of a couple. You know? <laughs> Your hearts aren't that joined. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty happily married, but fuck, that might be going a little far. <laughs> a little extreme even for you guys i know like hey you want to hold hands fuck that let's share heart attacks <laughs> <laughs> oh damn no that's <sighs> cool man i've i've never hiked to the top of a mountain i don't think i, 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 I mean don't know I've, that I've, I would... hiked to, I've hiked to the top of several hills yeah <laughs> but... the, and by mountain i'm not saying this is this isn't like denali you know, it's not like a single peak out in the sure. middle of fucking nowhere amongst a bunch of other mountains or some shit. Um, it's it's really just a, a really big hill. Cause you can and once you get to the top, you look over and there's mountains right right there. So right, right. it's like it's like the baby mountain. But it was still a lot of fun. Really good views up there. Unfortunately it was a little windy and a little cold, so I didn't it was too windy to fly their drone and too cold to stand around and take a bunch of pictures. Because, but okay, so so that leads to the, to the question I was going to ask you: mm -hmm. How many pictures did you take? And I, follow up question: Will we see them on Instagram? You probably will see them on Instagram. Although I only took uh, family photos, I didn't take like scenery photos. That, that's where ah. I drew the line. I, I took the photos that proved that we were there, but I didn't take the photos to like. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. Let me try to capture this in a way that other people <laughs> will, will find entertaining. Right. Um, Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, although earlier this week I did, so I've been doing this home automation, uh, home automation thing, right? And yeah, I recently purchased a Raspberry Pi four. Now Owen, good old Owen JJ Stone, aka O Doctor, had sent me a Raspberry Pi three kit with a Raspberry Pi four board. Oh, which I'm not okay. sure how that worked out, but that, that's fine because it, it put the boot in my ass for me to actually go out and. I bought a Pi 3 board and gave that to my daughter, Madison, and I bought a Raspberry Pi 4 kit for myself because you can't buy the kit without the board. It's whatever. Gotcha. Um, yep. I turned mine into a Home Assistant, which is a open source platform that links together all of your home automation and allows you to uh, have better control over, you know, hey, if, if the sun goes down, I want these lights to come on as opposed to just a certain time or whatever. Oh, nice. Yes. Take, take the stuff you can do on, on the Echo or the Google Home or whatever and amplify it by like, I don't know, a factor of 10. And that's the kind of stuff that you can do with this. I ha I don't have everything hooked up yet, but it's, it's pretty close. It's almost a full home solution. And because I asked our good friend Richard Gunther, hey, have you ever tried Home Assistant or Open Hab, which is another like a, a, another project? He was like, yeah, they're too command line-y for me, so I never did them. I was like, okay, cool. So I did open hab until I hit the point where I need the command line, which is fairly early in the process. Killed that project and went over to Home Assistant and have done everything I can to avoid using uh, command line. Because if you have to get into command line, it's not user-friendly. I can't recommend something right. that people are going to have to hammer jack their way through Linux command lines. Right, right. So... That's uh, yeah. That that that's been a lot of fun. It sounds very hacky of you. I haven't gotten into the actual home automation, like you know, synchronizing lights and things like that yet. But uh, I got it all set yeah. up, and then my new router arrived, and we'll talk about that later. Okay, um, man. So, have you ever seen the movie Snowpiercer? I thought I had. Until I recently saw a preview, and I don't remember anything from the preview. Wait, did you see a preview for the movie or for the TV show? For the movie. Okay. So I just recently saw the movie mm -hmm. about a week ago. I had no idea that, that, that a TV show was coming. Oh. It, so I just coincidentally watched the movie, loved it, like it was not at all what I expected it to be. The the idea of it was like that was in my head. It was that was not it. <laughs> the movie is fucking amazing. It is fucking awesome. And explain then, explain the movie to me in like 
one, okay, one so sentence. The, so the one basic, sentence. So the one sentence. Yep. Well, can I have a pre-sentence? No. It's based on a on a. Okay. All right. <laughs> the world freezes, and a billionaire had made a train. Okay. So yes, I have seen the movie, and that, maybe it was a, a preview of the TV show. Okay. 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 Yes, the movie was amazing. Fucking straight yes. up amazing. So, yeah. So the so the billionaire makes the the train that goes around the world and it has a it's powered by a, uh, a a perpetual motion machine, so it never stops, and it gets energy from, you know, it collects water from the snow on the track and yep. all, all that sort of stuff, and there's something it, it, of a class system throughout the train like the rich are in the front the poor are in the back right and that is and, vital to the existence of the train yeah so and go um right. and that's kind of that's kind of the basic plot of the movie but it gets deep it goes places and it says things yeah, it is and it's exceptionally really, well really shot good. as well Yes, and there's so many like stars in it. I had no idea that I thought it was all like I thought it was an indie movie with like indie like actors, whatever. No, no, like Captain America is in this movie. Right. Like the star of the movie is Chris Evans. Like what the hell? Yeah. Oh my god. Um, I had no idea. The movie is fantastic. Anybody that has not seen it, like, go out of your way and see it. It's on Netflix, by the way, which is why I watched it. Yeah. Uh, check it out, Snowpiercer. It's awesome. Also. Snowpiercer, the TV show, started this week. Yeah, it's uh, it's on TNT. The way that I watched it was on uh, Google TV. Uh, you know, the paid like you know cable replacement service. Mm -hmm. I watched it on Google TV, um, and um, it's it's really good. I think it might be also on Amazon. Don't quote me on that, but you might be able to see it on Amazon Prime. Uh, but it's uh, it's, it's really good. The just. Just so you know, going into it, they're not in the same uh, canon. It's not the same timeline, right? So, so my the setup that I that I said to describe Snowpiercer mm -hmm. that it's you know the world freezes and a billionaire billionaire had made a train uh, that goes around the world, perpetual motion machine, and like all of, well I didn't even say this part. All of of the human survivors are on the train. Uh, that's that's pretty much where stops i mean some of the some of the details like like wilbur is the name of the billionaire and he's the, the engineer of the train like so, so those things a, are intact is this a prequel or well no it so it it takes place earlier in the timeline this takes place like five years after the event where the movie takes place like 15 years after the event uh or something close to that however they're not in the same timeline they are different oh. like it's different there i'm not going to give any spoilers but like it's just under just understand you, you they're not this is not a prequel of anything so if you took it, it is, apple it's own and story. you're like this is a great apple and you start peeling <laughs> it down taking all the way all the all the substance out of it and you end up just a seed and then you're like hey let's yeah. grow something with this and you plant it and it out yes. sprouts an orange tree oh Oh no, 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 no! They're both apples, but they're just different apples, <laughs> different apple trees. They're their own apple tree, plant uh, growing from the same seed. Uh, the seed is the only thing that's the same. Gotcha. <laughs> but yeah, uh, is there any way we can twist that analogy any further? That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sure there is. Uh, but just know that I'm a, I am now a big fan of Snowpiercer in all its forms. Well, I have not I've not read the the graphic, the graphic novel, novel, the French. The French graphic novel upon which the entire story is, story is based. I haven't read right. that yet, but I do intend to because the story is phenomenal. It's great. Okay. All right. That sounds good. You know what um, else is great? What's that? You know what else is great? Our patrons. Our patrons? Over at patreon.com slash ritual misery. Didn't we already We've talk to them a little patrons, while ago? We? Like We already talked to our patrons, didn't we? Well, we did on the patron exclusive feed. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like we we said, hey, patrons, and <laughs> Kent gave some really sad excuse of a of a come on line, and then I came in there with the fucking the <laughs> the, the sil silky vocals that uh, I mean it's not uh, it's not big voice J level, but I'm pretty sure that uh, you know it, it riled up somebody's uh, somebody's hair in the back of their neck, probably maybe for the wrong well, reasons. Well, maybe, but uh, yeah, you got to be a patron to know how that went. Yeah. Um, anyway, patreon.com slash ritual misery. You get pre-shows, post-shows, uh, extra stuff, 
Uh, you'll get to see some of the RMP extra things that I've been doing over the last uh, couple of months. Um, you never know, man. You'll you'll see exclusive interviews. You'll see uh, stuff that we did 30 years ago. Um, all kinds of stuff over there. And right now in May 2020, if you become a patron, pledge whatever you like. We won't charge you. We are not going to charge you for the month of May 2020. So consider this a free preview. If you want to jump in there and see what it's like to be a Ritual Misery patron, now is the time to do it. Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery. So somehow we weren't going live. Uh, what? Yeah. We were live. Yeah, Wait, we, what? we were live, and then it didn't go live. Are we not live right now? <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Yeah. I don't I don't know what happened. That was awesome. Apparently apparently uh Twitch is having some issues. Son or, of or a may, bitch. Or maybe maybe Slobs is having issues cuz I don't think the video recorded for that part either. Oh no. Yeah. So you what you're saying is I shouldn't download Slobs yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. This is what happens when we only do this uh, every couple weeks or so. Uh, yeah, that's one of the... Yeah. Um, okay, so what are we going to do? Are we just going to just continue? Yeah, let's we just are? continue. Because we the, the, we uh, just did, the, we just did the, the Patreon plug, so we're about to move into the next segment, which is... Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, Kent's done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kent's Games. Play with him. All right, Amos. Uh -huh. Tonight's game is called Unsavory Steak Bets. <laughs> Unsavory Steak Bets. So I asked our Discord members to name tonight's game. And I chose, out of all of the many contributions, I chose unsavory steak bets. And before I get into the quiz itself, I want to read you the runners up. Okay. We had, okay, so real, real quick, uh, unsavory steak bets was provided by Captain Fubar. So thank you, Foobs, uh, for that title suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you to everyone else that contributed. And they are as follows. Green Gun Guy suggested, you suck butts. Oh, that would have been a good one, yeah. Wabbit Magic suggested, urine should blow. Wabbit also suggested, universal shitty butt. Universal shitty butt, yep. Flavor Toothpaste suggested, unkempt shifty bartenders. Curtis LaRock suggested, unsatisfactory standing blowy, which I think <laughs> is pretty great. <laughs> Uh, Wabbit suggested a third title, Urine Should Bubble. And then Dark Redeemer, just a few minutes ago, suggested Urine Soaked Bath Mat. I, I think these are all great, but uh, what I mean, so we're doing a quiz about USB tonight. That is correct. <laughs> so I, put, I put in the Discord, and uh, uh, everybody can join the Discord at, at uh, bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Uh, I put in the Discord, quick, uh, what does USB stand for? Wrong answers only. Fair enough. Of course, and that's what I got. So um, thank, you, thank you very much uh, to the Discordians over at bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Amos, I want you to tell me, am I describing USB 2.0 or USB 3.0? Ooh, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so I will tell you up front, I've only got six questions because there's really only like six ways that they differ. <laughs> I suppose I could throw it a seventh bonus question because I actually just thought of one while we were talking. All right. First question. This standard was released in 2008. 2008. The standard was released in 2008. Yes. Would that be USB 2.0 or 3.0? Oh, 2008. I'm going to say chat room is saying two, but I think two came out earlier than that. 
Because 2008 is also the same time they came out with Lightning, and I think Lightning and USB 3 were competing standards at the time, but they didn't have any hardware to support. So I'm going to say 3. This might be the nerdiest quiz I've ever put together. <laughs> um, and and also, I don't, I don't have my sound effects with me right now. I just realized that. So, yeah, you got that one right. It is I got that one right. USB 3.0. Um, yes, yeah, so... Uh, USB 2.0 came out in 1996. Sounds right. Next question. The maximum transfer speed is 480 megabits per second. 480 megabits per So USB 1.0 was 12 megabits per second. USB 2 was 48 megabits per second. So 40, 480 megabits per second should be USB 3. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, no. 480 megabits per second is USB 2.0. Oh. USB 3.0 is 5 gigabits per yeah, second. Yeah, if I thought about that, it wouldn't work that right. So, yeah, so something, something like 10 times faster than USB 2. All right, number three. The connectors are blue inside. Oh, that's USB 3. Yeah, yeah, like that's, I mean, come on. That one's, that's by far the easiest question on this quiz. All right, number four. It provides up to 900 milliamps of power. 900 milliamps of power. That is USB 2. Wah, wah, wah. That is USB 3. USB 2 is 500 milliamps uh versus the 900 from three i guess yeah. i won't argue with you <laughs> all right number five the cables have a total of four connector wires uh that's usb two yay versus uh do, do you know how many wires are in the three nine Yes! Yes! You know, I'm going to give you a bonus point. I'm going to give you a bonus. <laughs> Good job. Good hey, job. Extra credit for the win. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Number six. It permits simultaneous two-way communication. Ooh. That would have to be three because otherwise it would be both. Right. Right. Uh do you think I tricked you, maybe? No. Yeah, right. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, USB 2.0 only has half duplex communication, which basically means it can go both ways, but only one, one direction. One at, at a time. time. Yeah, that's why you have yeah. the extra right. cables on the, on the three. So you got a total of five points out of a possibility of six. Oh, actually, oh, I'll go ahead and ask you the bonus question that I thought of. It's not even, it's not even worth me asking. I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> Which one is more expensive? <laughs> uh, yeah, USB 3. Okay. All right. So more cool. expensive so to implement a, and to purchase. So you got, so with, with bonus points and everything else, you got six out of six. <laughs> hell yeah. So you beat the hell out of that D. Hell yeah. D didn't stand um, a chance. Yeah. So good, good job. Yay. <laughs> The real winners here are the Discordians uh, for coming up with such amazing titles. I mean, come on, urine soaked bath mat. That yeah. is that is just fucking great. Unkempt, shifty bartenders, uh, universal shitty butt. Like, come on, the, you, those are way way. Universal shitty butt is a pandemic uh, amongst being, children right now. So yeah, universal. Sugar. All right. <laughs> well, we are talking this this episode yeah, this about so about Quarantech. Corn tech being the new, uh, new tech we've been using, or tech we've been using in new ways. Yeah, and uh, I I got intimidated by your list <laughs> that you threw in here, so I had to really reach for. <laughs> I put three things in here, and I had to reach, especially for my third one. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Like, wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna start it off. If you did, can, are you watching the video right now? Um, I'm only watching. 
the video you're feeding me. I can I can pull up the. No, screen. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You only need to watch the video I'm sending you. Did you notice that when you were answer, okay. asking the questions, uh, I had visual effects for my answers? Oh, I did see visual effects, but I did not pay attention to the to what effects were happening as you were answering. Oh yeah. Uh, green versus red lighting. Yeah. This is your hue lighting. I'm uh, assuming. It is not. It is my nano leaf. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So tell me about NanoLeaf. This is, I am unfamiliar with NanoLeaf. NanoLeaf are um, uh, LED panels, and there they are right there, but I got to turn them down so you can see them on video uh, in the proper colors. It is on a mode I call Disco right now, which basically sh shows all the colors. It's all voice activated by this little dongle thing right there. So it can hear whatever is going on in the room. So if I clap, it goes off. Okay. And, uh, I have it hooked up to my Elgato Stream Deck, so I can hit, if I get it something right, I can make them all green. If I get it wrong, I can make them all red. Oh, okay. And then I can always throw the nice. uh, the RMP colors out there, although I got to keep it at 5% for it to be visible on the screen. Right, right. Um, but if I'm not showing it like this and I just drop it down, then it just gives a little bit of ambiance in the background. Yes. And uh, yeah, I had to talk to Richard about it because <laughs> we we had a debate um, their their level, because OCD. Curse the Rock, Curse the Rock says, "Oh fuck, you've gone full streamer." <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Um, and uh, they're they're all level, but the roof right here isn't exactly level, and neither is this little little dip down right here. So I had to find a a, a a measure or an immeasurable or indiscernible difference between you know how to line them up and everything else and get them all to work. Mm -hmm. So it was actually considerable work, but once I got the alignment right, it was amazingly easy. Nice. And yeah, so those are those are awesome. They're fun, and uh, when you put them on voice activation, it's really pretty cool. I enjoy, uh, enjoy it squid, a lot. Squid. Squid in the in the Twitch chat says, "When you use red, it makes you even more Ming the Merciless." <laughs> <laughs> I will get you. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> no, that's pretty great, man. That's a that is a that is a cool thing. Uh, wh where did you where did you purchase them from? Uh, I got them on I got them at Best Buy. They were on a slight sale, and then I put a my birthday discount from from April on there and got them for a little bit cheaper, and still bought them for far more than anybody should ever have to pay for a gadget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So not on my immediate purchase list. Okay. Not on your list ever. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I okay. do not see these ever right. uh, finding themselves in the, in your house by your procurement. Got it. Okay. So so back to shopping for hue lights for me. <laughs> gotcha. Every okay. time they go on sale, they send them to you. Never buy them. I don't understand. Yeah, I always I always forget. After we're done streaming, I'm like, cool, man. Yeah. Peace out. And then the next time I log in, I'm like, oh shit, he sent me a link to ah, uh, damn it, I missed the sale. <laughs> 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 oh man. All right. So. So a piece of tech that uh, I acquired uh, during the quarantine is actually what I'm using right now. I'm using my one of my new lavalier microphones mm -hmm. uh, as a little la lapel mic. I tested it for the first time last week. I received them basically like right before I did the stream last week, and uh, it worked pretty well. Uh, one thing that I noticed about it is that my computer doesn't like it if it's in stereo. But luckily, <laughs> luckily, it comes with a little adapter, a stereo to mono adapter. So when I plug it in, works fucking perfectly. Nice. Um, it's pretty great. This is this is one of the best purchases I have ever made. The, one of the highest value purchases. The entire kit was twenty bucks. Ah. Twenty dollars. That's it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a link. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show the link right now. Uh, but it will be in the show notes. Um, Curtis, Curtis says he kind of wants quick. my nano life, nano leaf lights because they're nice, nice and bright. They are very bright. Like, I I was oh, blown yeah. away by they're, how bright they are because even in like the bright sunlight, they still you can still see the color very crisply. Uh, but yeah, so this this kit came with two lavalier mics with a you know pretty pretty decent cord length, mm -hmm. but it also came with two audio extension cords that oh. go out to like 
fucking 10 feet or something like that. It comes with a, an audio splitter jack so that you can plug two things into one audio jack. Um, I already mentioned it comes with a second lavalier. Uh, it comes with a, the stereo to mono adapter. And it comes with a, a variety of wind muffs diff in different colors. So typically you're going to use a lavalier mic uh, on your lapel for interviewing somebody, right? Right. Like for video. And if they're wearing a red shirt, a black uh, mic is going to show up quite a bit. So you can just throw the the red wind muff on nice. it. And uh, it's going to be perfectly disguised. And it comes with this this handy dandy little... Uh, Little dice bag. I don't know what you call these things. I call them dice bags because I'm a fucking D&D &D nerd. But uh, <laughs> to put all your shit in there. I wouldn't really recommend putting it in this because it's awfully small for everything that it comes with. So yeah. I just kept the original plastic <laughs> Ziploc that everything came in. And it's, man, 20 bucks. And it sounds good. Like, the mics actually sound good. Yeah. I would have been fine if it was just, like, acceptable, like, decent. Uh, not horrible. Uh, because worst case scenario, if the mics sucked, I get all these fucking accessories that I can use in other <laughs> applications, and it's not it's still not a wasted twenty dollars. Uh, but th but because the mics are actually good, oh my god, dude, like purchase of the year, tw yeah. twenty dollars for this whole kit. I uh, so good. I also got new headphones. I don't know if you can tell that I'm not wearing my uh, my earbuds, um, and I'm still yeah. trying to get used to them, which is why I'm shaking my ears so much. I got oh, oh the oh like pro yeah pro level uh, me six pro, and they are the you know the ones that you tuck in behind your ear and they kind of go in and yes it's got a nice little little case it comes with a one cable that has a, a the microphone thing on it and one that doesn't it's got a, a bunch of a, a extra tips and all that kind of stuff. They're really cool. I just need to get. I, I need to find the tips that are find most comfortable in my ears because these ones that I'm wearing right now are not it. So, yeah, another small upgrade. This, these are a little more expensive than twenty bucks though. They're like fifty. Okay. <clears throat> Um, uh, no, I've actually, I've, I've looked at stuff like that and I, I've definitely considered getting something like that for myself, yeah. but I have not decided how much I want to spend. <laughs> right. Well, these came at a, at a recommendation. Uh, I believe these are the ones that Tom Merritt uses and the ones that, uh, one of his producers use. So that's why I went with them and they've, they, right they, they sound great. I just got to use the tips. I need to figure out the tip, which tip I like best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody's got to add a title. It's, it's just the tip. That. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. So, really, the only other piece of tech that I've bought uh, th that that I could think of any way that 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 helps me in any way um, is the Mirabox uh, Mirabox capture card uh, that I purchased to capture video. It's a video capture device. Um, I've used it quite successfully with my arcade one up or not arcade one up. Jesus. I don't have one of those. My legends ultimate arcade, uh, <laughs> set up to stream from there. Uh, it works really well there. And for anybody that's watched the, uh, sassy and plays, uh, streams for the, um, uh, I think, I think we're about once a month now mm. that we're doing that. Um, I, I use the capture card to send the video from the iMac over to my MacBook Pro because I'm, I'm the one running the stream from, from the MacBook Pro, but she's playing the game on the iMac. Uh, works really well there. The only issue that I've had with it is that um, I'm only capturing video and not sound. And I don't think it's because of the box. I think it's because of the way that I'm outputting audio. So the jury's out on that. Hmm. Uh, but if I had any uh, complaint whatsoever, it's my frustration with your sound. Uh, but that is uh, probably not Mirabox's fault. Uh, but this card is is pretty great. It's only it's only hundred bucks, and it works just as well as uh, any card that I've seen. Uh, 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 just as well as all the other cards you've tried. <laughs> that yeah no no hundred percent it's definitely that good. <laughs> Um, but I took a chance on this on this lower priced uh, card, and I'm I am not, not regretting it. Just, yeah, yeah. Um, I've kind of done a little bit more than just that. Uh, bought a Synology 
RT twenty six hundred AC to replace. Um, my, I'm sorry, Gesundheit. Uh, yeah, RT twenty six hundred AC. It's the Synology router. It's the the higher one of the two that they have, and then I bought uh, two of the mesh units to go with it to replace my Netgear Orbeez because the Orbeez were they weren't working out for me. Plus Netgear. So explain to me what. Remote... Good. 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 I was just going to say, explain to me what, what mesh means. Like, what does that mean for the signal that I'm going to get? Okay, right. I have a router. The router sits in the garage where the internet connection comes into the house. And then I have another smaller router in the living room where I don't have a LAN connection. The router mm -hmm. and the smaller router, the mesh router, talk to each other over a dedicated 5 gigahertz signal at about 270 uh, megabits per second which is faster than a LAN cable. Uh, at the mesh, it rebroadcasts the Wi-Fi signal, so it's on one side of the house and the router's on the other side of the house, so I've got full coverage over the entire house, and it's got two okay. LAN ports on the back that hook to the two computers that are right there that don't have a, uh, uh, don't otherwise have LAN access. Gotcha. So from those two so, computers, so they're, just, is... they're just plugging into the network as if there was a LAN port right in the wall. And for the right. Wi-Fi, so... it just it spreads it out even further. Right, so it's it's basically Wi-Fi repeaters, except dedicated and much better than than and right. just a normal off-the-shelf repeater. Right, and the problem with the Orbi okay. was that no matter what where everything was in the house, everything tried to try to attach to the router, which wasn't necessarily the strongest signal, but it didn't care. It wanted to stay on the router and not go to the mesh unit. So the mesh unit was basically just a a LAN repeater, a wireless LAN repeater. Um, yep. which wasn't good when I have cameras on that side of the house that are Wi-Fi and they couldn't really connect very strongly to the router on the other side of the house. While Meanwhile, the fucking mesh was right there and it, they didn't want to connect to it. Right. I, I hooked right. up the Synology system and within five minutes I could see that it was, it was splitting the load according to physical location of where the items were. And I don't know if that's something wrong with Orbi or something right with Synology, but it, it's been working perfectly. And I took the opportunity okay. to improve my network security. Synology has a bunch of bunch bunch of tools to use to improve your network security. I changed my SSID. I changed the Wi-Fi password. Um, did all the things, and yeah, it's been it's been awesome. That's great, man. Um, and did you also get that from Best Buy? No, I bought that from Amazon. Su that surprised me actually, because every time I ask you where'd you get that, you're like, "Oh, Best Buy, <laughs> I got it on sale." <laughs> I do keep my ear on the ground for the sales, though. But, but no, this was a this is so Netgear has been really slow in updating a lot of its security holes lately, and that be between that and the problems I was having with the Orbi just generally, I was like, you know what, it's time to switch. So I started researching who to switch to. And I could go with, uh, you know, a, a, the Wi-Fi 6 and go with all the stuff and make everything all magical and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I'm just, I need something that I can, that, that brings utility, not just function. And the Synology fit that bill. Plus, I already had experience from my NAS with Synology, and it, it runs awesome. So that's why Good. I went with that. Fantastic. Uh, what, what's... um. What's another what's another piece of technology that you've uh, either either repurposed or or have gotten new? The Mavic Air 2 just came out recently and I it was an upgrade to the original Mavic Air in every single way. Better And better. what what is Mavic Air? That, that's a drone. A drone. Yeah. So a drone and what is a drone? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just I just wanted to go with the the interviewer voice like no. this consistent. No. All right, so yeah. Mavic Air two. Uh, so you, oh, so you now have two drones. Is I do. that what you're saying? I do. Okay. Is Although, this a so is the is the two bigger than the one? Or are they the same size? It's a, it, it's uh, a little bigger. It folds up the same way, but it's got a bigger battery. Uh, it's, it's faster. It handles wind better. It's got better AI built in. Better sensors. Better ah. camera. It's, so I remember about a year or so ago, you you crashed one on your roof. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and I'm assuming that's because of the wind or was that lack of experience at the controls? Uh, that was, both. that Maybe was a little bit of both. Well, it wasn't the wind. It was weather related. Uh, what happened was I was flying it and I flew it see higher. See what had happened. Was. Yeah, see what had happened was I had told Craig and him. 
Uh, I was going to go out him. Anyway, um, I flew it up uh, too high, uh, and it hit con- some condensation, I think, and the mo- one of the motors froze, and it just tumbled from the sky from there. I got you. So, so and it happened. New one, will this new one mitigate those issues? Or was that just purely circumstantial and would happen to any of them? I don't know. I know that the times that I flew my old one into walls and stuff like that, this one won't, <laughs> won't allow. Oh, that's good. That is a good thing. <laughs> so so what what do you intend to do with it? Um, I've already done some photography. It's on my Facebook page. I did a 360 of the planes ne- near my house. Um, uh, a lot of the stuff, some videos, uh, this this is a lot better at following subjects. So like the other day I had a fl- following uh, Autumn around as she was riding her new bike around the neighborhood and stuff. And it was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I hit, forgot to hit record. So it didn't record the video. But it was, <laughs> it was awesome while I was watching it on my phone. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Looked nice. really cool for my phone. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so fo- following, this sounds like um, like a, a good spy tool, right? Or, or how loud is it? Well, it's quieter it, than the original, but it's still not, it's not quiet enough to spy on anybody. So, yeah. So the subject will know that there's a drone in the air. Mm-hmm. And like, oh you, my God, it's following me. Yeah. You, you, you can hear... <laughs> You can hear the drone through a closed window, so there's no like peeping Ooh, Tom stuff. Yeah, here. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Every time I go in my backyard, if because one of my neighbors uh, about a block away from me has a drone mm-hmm. and um, he takes photography uh, professionally, but sometimes he just like flies around the neighborhood to just to fly it. Yeah. And uh, every time that he's doing that, I walk when I walk into the back backyard, I swear to God that another beehive has formed in my yard. Because that's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, the uh, the old one was like a. Please check its network connection and power supply. Uh, hey, Amazon Assistant, uh, shut up. No, I told it to set the dining room to red because I'm recording, and my niece is upstairs jumping around and bouncing around, making a bunch of noise that I can hear through my headphones. So I'm sure it'll be it's on the recording. And I, one of the things I haven't switched over to the new router are the little switches that I have with the rope lights that tells everybody that I'm recording. So she might not even know that I'm recording. So I told her ah. to set the dining room to red because the, the the chandelier above the table is colored. Like we can do little colors and shit like that. It's got color LEDs. <laughs> um, yeah. But unfortunately, someone has apparently flipped the switch off because I haven't finished switching over all of my switches to wireless switches. <sighs> right, right. This, the, ah, this, 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 yeah, this, it's not even tech. This is Luddite family. So, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, and, it's, well, the, I mean, whatever. The, the old one, the old one was like a, <laughs> and this one's more like a, so it's a lot, it's, uh, it's volume wise, it's lower, it's a lower pitch, but it is louder. Like if that makes any sense okay. to, to okay. the average person. But, but perhaps less annoying, maybe? Oh, definitely less annoying. Okay. Definitely less annoying. Cool. Um, and it's it's just it's just better in every single way. So, yeah. So let me let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, since since this whole COVID nineteen nineteen thing has kicked off, um, you've you've been to stores, right? Like been grocery shopping, yeah. gone to Best Buy or whatever. Yeah. Uh, do you wear a mask? I do. Yeah. So how how annoying is it when you go to look at your phone? to either use Apple Pay or to just like check the text that you just got. And uh, your phone doesn't unlock because Face ID isn't going to work with a mask. I just, I just, I've just accepted it as that's that's kind of what <laughs> happens. Right. Like, duh. Right. Yeah. The first couple of times were, were annoying to me. But then I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah, of course. And I just hit, you know, right. do my, uh, my, my six-digit pin. Uh, well, Apple released iOS 13.5 today yep and one of the big features of it was that it's going to instantly recognize that you're wearing a mask and will immediately present to you the keypad to enter your six digit pin i updated just so before I was like, the show have you tried it how does it work i i did update right before the show and i did test it so right before i upgraded i wanted to test the timing mm-hmm. and it was about Two and a half to three seconds before, okay. before the phone showed me the the pin pad. Mm-hmm. 
or the keypad, I guess. Okay, not that annoying, right? Like, I mean, okay. It's a, a consequence of, of circumstance, it, but yeah. Yeah, but I was like, okay, if it's going to instantly present me with the, with the keypad, okay, cool. Yeah, let's test this. So I upgraded, threw my mask back on, tested it again. I think it shaved about a half second off the time to bring up the pin pad. Um, thanks. <laughs> I guess. Now, on, I don't on, know. Like, I mean, it's faster. It is faster, but he, here's so right. Curtis. Laura, <laughs> Cur Curtis says it works instantly for him. But what phone are you on, Curtis? Because we Kent and I are both on the iPhone 10, so the first one with the face recognition. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's on the XR. So, so, so yeah, yeah he, he's 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 of every. He's like a half generation ahead. Right. Every every gen every uh, uh, successive six. Uh, it, I'm just successive generation. Yes, is, is faster. Faster. Yeah. So like with the fingerprint reader, like the the my first fingerprint reader phone was one generation past yours, and it took like and a third the time was, out the box. Yeah, it was way faster than what yours was. Yeah, I could do Apple Pay like quicker than I could even realize that I was. <laughs> like, that oh I had shit! My I phone just I hand. just bought McDonald's again. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I know. Damn phone. I just, Damn fingerprint. Uh, I, I was just sitting here with my hand in my pocket, and all of a sudden, I got McDonald's getting delivered to me. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, um. But yeah, so so that's the thing. Uh, the the other thing that I noticed with it um, was that now. Your medical ID can be displayed when you make an emergency phone call, which yep. I've never, I've never tested that feature, and I hope to not ever have to do that. Right. Um, but I did, and it's an opt-in, so I had to go into my settings and 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 turn it on, yep. which I did because I mean, if I'm making an emergency phone call, like yeah, I want them to know that you know I've got this blood type or fucking whatever. Um, so, uh, okay, cool, but also not like immediately useful. The other thing that um, it was like a big change is um, like, I guess, a newsworthy change because Apple and Google have been developing uh, APIs for uh, contact tracing, right? right? Or contact, uh, yeah, contact it's tracing, contact right? Tracing. So it, it will, it's proximity. It, it, it's, yes. it's really con yes. it's, it's complicated, but yes, it's contact tracing. It's very complicated, and there there are there are privacy concerns and whatnot. And I don't I haven't read enough about it to to see how they have mitigated that or will be mitigating that. But one thing to note is you can upgrade to iOS thirteen point five, and you are not automatically like sending any data to anyone. Right. The API is available in the iOS thirteen point five. The app isn't there like it's it enables other apps to be able to do it so you will right. you will still have to get a an additional app and enable it to to take that data for for contact tracing and this is the joint uh, google apple api yes so that yep. they, they, they uh, co-developed them so that so that one app would be able to use similar calls to no matter which which api it was using so Right. So whether on an iPhone or, or yeah. Samsung S, whatever, uh, which are like the two most common phones in use today, right. uh, like by far, if you take those two phones out of the equation, you're left with like, you know, 8% of the phone market or whatever. No, it's probably more than that, but still. Um, <laughs> um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my most impressive thing about the update. There's actual notes on the update. Usually when you get an Apple update, yeah. it's just uh, iOS 13.5 uh, uh, includes bug fixes and other improvements. Check out the developers. Oh, then you have to click. Yeah, but even, yeah, even then you like, it, more. yeah, and, and it didn't, it still didn't tell you anything. Like you got to go into the developer site on Apple to actually see the changes. <laughs> and this one's actually got a whole fucking paragraph. Like what? Yeah. What? No, 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 no. Uh, and, and I agree with Curtis in the, in the, in the chat. Like, like it really depends on the update because most updates, when you click on learn more, like you will see like all of the update notes. You will have a link still to you will, go to. You will if see you, if you want notes. a deep dive on the security. You you will see yeah, update well, notes. So You'll see five itemized things out of a list of fifty that actually changed. But no, not when you click on learn more. You will see uh, fifty things. Uh, 
But if you click on on the link that's within the learn more, then you'll learn about the you know individual security fixes and, right. and things that like no normal person gives a fuck about. Um, anyway, anyway, so thirteen point five, it's stable and it it put little tiny, teeny tiny enhancements. A big enhancement if you if you consider the API for contact tracing important. Uh, but other than that, it's a teeny tiny little. Yeah. Uh, up, up. So. Hey, Kent, you have a, a Elgato Stream Deck, right? I do. Yeah, well, yes, uh, I've got the I've got the small one though. I've got the, the I've got the six six button one. Yep, and I've and I've got the fifteen. Did you know that they just mm-hmm. released an update that had a bunch of APIs installed on it? I do know that there is an update. I have not downloaded it, nor have I read the release notes for it. I. The, the things that were added, some of the optional ones, not all the standard ones, but some of the optional ones. There's a Twitch button now, so I can see how many people that I follow are live on Twitch right now. And you oh. click on it, and it actually shows you the current screenshot from the channel. Oh, wow. Oh, um, within, like within on the, the deck itself? Yeah. And oh, that is fantastic. I, I can see how many people are in our chat right now. That... And that it, is it, amazing. It's just it's a, it's a static button that updates, and if I hit the the chat button, it actually doesn't do. No, it does. It brings up a list of all the people, and then once the people are brought up, you can hit. You can do different things to adjust what you want the. You know, like yeah, it's just little things like that, man. The stream deck is just always improving. It's awesome. Yeah, no, yeah that that let, is. Let me like, find out what happens, Cur- Curtis. That is uh, so great. Curtis just said maybe it bans people. So I'm going to hit Curtis and see what happens. <laughs> I don't think it did anything. Oh, bye, Curtis. <laughs> no, because I don't have it. I don't have a program oh, for anything. Man. So no, it just lets me uh, see a no, picture, but Curtis. Curtis does have a good point, though. He said it, this is great for rating. This is a be a great tool to see because we always like, oh, who's live right now? Right. And then we have to go and like refresh our page to see who's and, the and on that's another thing. If, stuff. No, this is a great tool. If if you hit the the live button and it brings up the people that are live right now, and then you tap on that button, it actually opens a, a default browser window going straight to their live page. Oh, that's fantastic! It's awesome. That's really good. Yep. And then good job, um, Elgato. Yeah, the, the other thing I've been doing lately that's new with old stuff is Asana. I use Asana as my production workflow to keep track of all work tasks, things like that. I do have some personal projects in there so I can keep uh, track. Because I have it I have it linked up with, um, with uh, uh, shit, what, what is it? Toggle. With Toggle for time tracking for billing purposes, things like that. And I also use it to see, oh, shit, I spent six hours uh, editing videos or, or pictures today or whatever. Well... Right. I just recently upgraded and started going with the pro option so that my wife and I can both share access and have access to the advanced features of like timeline, things like that. And transitioning my wife over to Asana has been a cruel, cruel happiness or a beautiful, beautiful misery, depending on which day. Okay, okay. A <laughs> lot. Elaborate, like, uh, tell she, us more about she that. She loves the fact that it's a combined <laughs> list of things for us to work on. She loves that there's additional options than than what's in, you know, like Apple Reminders. Um, but getting her to actually use it has been a nightmare. Although she has switched over to starting to use Timely now to track her time since she's working from home, or not Timely, uh, Toggle, which is great. So, you know, you know what Steph, you know what Steph uses to uh, keep the family on track for tasks the and whiteboard. all that sort of stuff. A whiteboard. <laughs> and it works pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. For anybody out there looking for a low tech solution. It yeah. Works pretty good. You know what you can't access um, on the road? You gotta pay attention to it though. Like Yeah, you know what doesn't... you can't access on the road? A whiteboard. Uh um a white a whiteboard? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, unless somebody takes a picture and then And uh, and the and the really bad thing is or... like if you have a link to share, you can't just drop that link on the whiteboard. You still have to type type it in. You can't just click it when the when it's on the whiteboard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, uh, no, no production software. Like you've been, you've always been the production software guy. I've been the resistant to production software guy. <laughs> or, or AKA Luddite. Yes, we know. Um, hey, yeah, dude, Luddite. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> do you do you have any tech issues that you wish you could a- ask an expert or at least someone who can 
find out the right answer and make sure that it's delivered in a clean and precise way? Oh. Oh, dude, at least weekly I have that issue. Yeah? What if, what if I could what what if those those questions would be looked at by none other than Tom Merritt and possibly answered by Tom Merritt? Um that sounds fantastic. Well, if that describes you, hit me up, DM me at Ethan Kane on Twitter, or hit me up in the Discord, and I will pass those questions on directly for a new project that may or may not be coming. Okay. All right. So, so, ba- so basically, what you're saying is, if I have a tech issue, and I would love for Tom Merritt himself to answer the question, I should hit you up in Discord. Yes. Or, or DM me on Twitter. At, uh, so at bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Yep. Or um, uh, uh, Ethan Kane, E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E, on Twitter. Yep. And Tom Merritt's going to see my question? No. No, I'm gathering subjects oh. for, for, for topics. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Okay. I thought I had a I thought I had a middleman direct to Tom Merritt. No. Uh, well, I mean you do. But, uh, okay. But, but... Okay. So. <laughs> all right. So so I submit my questions. Yeah. I, so I submit my tech questions to not, you, not, and not then necessarily, uh, not tell ne- me what happens. Not necessarily tech questions. Uh, subjects that you feel could be explained better. Okay. So if I have a problem with, um, I just I cannot figure out. How to get my uh, my mixing board to work with my microphone? No. 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 Okay. Um, I can't figure out how to make my iPhone uh, uh, do X task. No. No. All right. No. What are we talking about? Give me, give me, give me some good examples. Uh, what would wh- be a good, good scenario to present? What is lidar? What is LiDAR? Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What, Basically, what, if there's an the acronym thing? out there that's, that's semi-tech related and you need it explained, let me know and I'll see if I can if I can figure out a way to get it explained to you. Let's put it that way. Okay. All right. So so like just general um, understanding about technological topics. Doesn't um, have to be I tech. Those. Yeah, it doesn't have to be tech, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. What is life? <laughs> 42. Well, yes. I mean, that is the that is the answer. Okay. <laughs> so cool. Rewarding so everyone, says, uh, you know, so everyone, ray tracing, it's like that. I have no idea what ray, tra- ray tracing is. <laughs> yeah, nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody knows that. Uh, uh, apparently, so, so mine, Minecraft does, questions. and that's it. <laughs> what I want everybody to do, what I want the Ritual Misery audience to do, is flood Amos's social media with questions. No, just to the, d- yeah, to Tom just the Mer- DMs, just the DMs, just the okay, yes, yeah, yes, just the DMs. DMs, or or the DMs, the PMs, the 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 text, the whatever route you have directly to Amos. I want you to flood that with with what is life. What is LIDAR? What is, what, what is everything? Like, I don't know. I can already tell but this is a bad idea. Some, try to come up with some good ones, though. Try to come up with some, like, legitimate questions that you have, but make them hard. And, and uh, oh, that's a good title. I'm going to submit that one for myself. Make them hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, where can people find, uh, find uh, out what, what, what you got going on, man? Uh, man, people need to hit me up on Twitter at RM underscore Del Noche. I haven't been amazingly active on there lately, but if you engage me on there, I guarantee I'll become a lot more active. So hit me up there. Uh, Squid's Mixtape. Uh, let me tell you, uh, are you talking about an African or European swallow? You can find me on Twitter at Ethan Kane, E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E. And you can find me on Discord, which I am more frequent in now because I've got uh, I've got lots of lots of lots of little things going on. Uh, some some amazing content for this show. Hopefully, if I can get my squirrels in a row. <sighs> and, um, yeah, you can also and, join the show uh, bit.ly slash RMP Discord for like the 17th time I've mentioned it this episode. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You should, you, should, you should really watch out for that. 
Um, <laughs> we are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific on DiamondClub.tv and Twitch.tv slash Ritual Misery. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music, which is starting to play right now because I just hit the button. Ah, there it is. Uh, thank you for listening. Yeah, for thank Kent, you. for you, for me, this has been your multi, uh, multi-exited multi Ritual Misery podcast. <laughs> Love you guys. See ya. Bye. Uh, let's see if they can hear this t- this time. Wait, where's the thing? There it is. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> yeah, that was loud again. Toothpaste. Thank you, Forever Toothpaste, for that uh, that stinger at the end. I don't I don't know why. Uh, it's so, I gotta I gotta figure out why it's so fucking. I love loud. that. I love that so much. It's so right. good. I just dropped it down like a lot, so I will not forget to not blow people's ears out next time. <laughs>